What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to what is going to be our final episode of Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Man, what a year it has been for us in Madden 16. I still cannot believe that this game is coming to an end, and Madden 17 is literally like, I can just feel it. it we're so close to it, but just this year we've had on Madden 16 Ultimate Team has been special, man. It has been unbelievable. One last look you guys are seeing at this ridiculous team we have been able to build this year we finally achieved the 99 overall just we've had so many good moments this year in Madden 16 and I can't believe it is coming to an end so I am ready to end things on a high note in our final game that we will be playing in Madden 16 ultimate team now I know it has been a while since I have uploaded for you guys I'm sorry I do apologize for that I have been sick I'll leave a little bit more down in the comment section below describing it a little bit more for you guys in case you are all wondering because I want to keep everything pertaining to Man 16 Ultimate Team in this episode and keep it special considering that this is the final game we are playing and the final episode of the series for what a remarkable year for what it has been in this game. Now, jumping right into our game, let's just go right into things here. You guys are seeing... We're playing home, the Tennessee Titans, the first game we're actually playing home as the Titans in our home uniforms. Now, as I just said to you guys, I was sick. I would have liked to have done maybe one or two more episodes with a couple more games with this team, but things just fell the way that they did. I can't help it, and at least I've got one more game for you guys to give you all as we ride things out in Madden 16. Anyways, let's get back into the game. My opponent is actually using Tom Brady at quarterback. He's coming back with vengeance after we got him off of our team from the last season. And my opponent actually has two 99 overall running backs. DeMarco Murray and LaDainian Tomlinson. He's got a double threat back there. So it's going to be a lot of work stopping both of these running backs. Now, third and four, Tom Brady tries to find his receiver, Demarius Thomas, is who I believe that receiver was. But Deion Sanders, I mean... I'm saying this as if the game's still going to be going on. We've only got a couple more days left, but if you guys have the coins, like, pick up Deion Sanders before the game is over. Sell some players and pick up Deion because easily the best card that I've ever played with this year in Madden 16. He shuts down absolutely everything. I mean, yes, he does get caught on because he's not, like, he's not literally a cheat code and you cannot catch anything against him. But what I'm trying to say is that just, like, 80% of the plays I feel just he gets an interception he swats it down he's just an absolute monster for us and it sucks I only had like two episodes to play with with this card because I would have liked to have gotten through this full season with this team it would have been a lot of fun now you can see here on offense we are trucking our way down the field a play to Rob Gronkowski third and three now a couple of plays later we're towards the end zone I tried feeding that to Odell Beckham Unfortunately, that defender was there to swat that down. We couldn't get the touchdown, but look, fourth and three. It's the final game that we're playing. We have got to go all out and go for it on fourth down. And Reggie Bush, with I believe 98 speed, it's too easy for him. He can just run right around his defenders. We pick up the touchdown and have our first lead of the day, seven to nothing. And so far, our offense is looking very steady for us to come out here and hopefully get a win in our final game. Next up for my opponent, coming back out on offense, second and one for Tom Brady. I almost just threw my controller when that play happened, man. Like, give me the user interception. Like, I'm not going to lie. I am not the greatest player when it comes to usering stuff and getting interceptions. Like, if I get one, someone needs to give me a medal for it. I'm, I'm joking there. But no, seriously. Like, I get robbed of user picks a lot, I feel. And... Fourth and one, my opponent tried running the ball. This is something, you know, I, I do take pride in. I am good at this, able to stop the run single-handedly by myself. Coming right through with Ray Lewis, able to bring up a turnover on downs, actually, for my opponent. Now, coming back out on offense, first and ten. Hopefully, they change this to Madden 17. If not, like, I am not going to invest as much coins as I have in the past on my offensive line because I've got, like, practically the best offensive line you can get in this game. And they still get destroyed, and I still get sacked. Like, it it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Third and 20, after taking that big sack, we were able to find the man Odell Beckham Jr. for a first down. He actually could have gotten a couple more yards out of that. I don't really know why he ran out of bounds. But the next play, second and 10, right back to OBJ. We're finally seeing this guy get a touchdown 
straight down the middle of the field, and Marcus Mariota is having himself a good game so far. We are up 14 to nothing against my opponent, and we are jumping straight into the second half of this game. So as soon as I just said 14 to nothing, actually at the end of the second quarter, my opponent did go down the field and was able to put up a field goal. Now here on first and 10, our first play in the third quarter, man, like, I'm sorry, I never throw the ball deep. I hate doing it. I hate when people do it to me and try and aggressive catch it. So I try not do it against other people. But look, when I've got people like Jerry Rice, I just have to give it a try and see if they can make the catch. Which obviously, as you guys see, he was able to come down with that catch right there. Now we were able to come down the field only to let up a sack. And Mar Marcus Mariota actually fumbled the ball. And we had to give the ball right back to my opponent now. So on first and 10, you saw he went with... A quarterback sneak I mean come on man like seriously a, a quarterback sneak are we really going to do that here on third down he does find his receiver able to pick up a first down and keep things alive for my opponent he's lucky we didn't get a safety right there able to tackle him in his own end zone now second and nine he finds his receiver all Sean Jeffrey Deion Sanders is coming up with the tackle there second and ten one play later Tom Brady is throwing against Ed Reed. Actually, no, that was Josh Norman who my opponent was throwing against. He's able to come up with the catch and pick up a first down. Third and three into the fourth quarter now. Tom Brady, of course, is looking to convert. Pick up another first. This is, this is twice in one game that I just got robbed of a user interception. Like, was I not right on top of that guy? How was that not my pick? Like, he didn't even turn around and put his hands up to go for the ball. What? It, it, whatever. We're over it. First and ten. Tom Brady is coming back out, going with a toss play to DeMarco Murray. When he gets destroyed by Ronnie Lott, that 102 hit power is what I think he has causing the fumble. It sucks that we weren't able to recover. I mean, that would have been huge. That probably would have ended the game had we been able to recover the ball right there. He goes to Rob Gronkowski, 18-yard catch, able to pick up the first down. And the next play on first and goal, look at DeMarco Murray, able to weave his way in between all of those defenders and pick up the touchdown. Putting my opponent right back in this game, 10-14. Now, for some reason, my opponent didn't go for the two-point conversion, which would have had him down only by three points, a.k.a. a field goal. I guess he wasn't feeling it. He just decided to kick his extra point. Now, on third and nine... I throw this pass here as the game is just kind of breaking itself. I'm not sure what's going to happen. And it looks like Antonio Cromartie is going to swat that down. So, of course, me, the idiot, who could have just ran the ball out and wasted time on the clock and made my opponent waste the timeouts, I, I completely failed at doing that. And my opponent now has a chance to come back down here and win this game. So, first and ten, an incomplete pass. Our, all of our defenders were there to swat that away. One play later is now a third and ten. Once again, Alshon had the ball in his hands, but a couple of guys were able to hit him, which knocks the ball loose, and it is an incomplete pass. Now this could be the game, the final play, fourth and ten. He tries to go to his tight end, Martellus Bennett. There, I kind of was semi there to get the user pick, but something happened, I don't really know. He drops the pass, and it looks like we are coming out of here with the victory. We did pick up one more field goal, and we are coming out with the win, 17-10. to And our final game of Mad 16 Ultimate Team ended on a high note, and we have got ourselves the victory. So that is going to wrap it up for you guys here with Mad 16 Ultimate Team. I cannot believe that this year is actually over, and we are about to start fresh with a new team and a new game. And I could not be more excited. Like, after going through and having all these ridiculous legend, 99 overall players, golden tickets, all that stuff coming out. Yeah, it's fun, but it gets to the point where it does get a little bit boring. And once the new Madden comes out and you're starting fresh and you actually get excited over gold players and whatnot, like, I can't wait to have that feeling back. And Madden 17 is going to be so much fun, man. Like, I cannot wait. Now, I just wanted to sit here very quickly and take a moment to thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for me this year in Madden 16. It has been an unbelievable year. Obviously, it has been the best year for me on YouTube. I mean, I think we almost hit like a total of close to like 3,000 subscribers just in the span of this one year, and we just hit 5,000 not that long ago. So, I mean, like, it has been unreal, and I cannot thank you guys enough for everything that you've done for me and supported me with 
this year in Madden 16. And I know this year definitely I slacked a ton. We could have done so much more this year with this game, but just... I didn't have the time to make as many videos as obviously I would have liked to, but this year Madden 17, trust me, I have nothing to do now. I am going to be having nothing but my time spent towards playing Madden 17 and getting videos out for you guys, and I could not be more excited about it. I'm, I'm super pumped to start this new year with you guys, but again, I just wanted to thank you all so much for the support with Madden 16 this year. It's been... It's been a lot of fun, man. So, once again, Madden 16 Ultimate Team has now come to an end. Thank you guys all so much for everything you've done for me this year, Madden 16. I cannot wait what is in store for us. Just a couple of days from now when Madden 17 is starting right back up. I cannot wait, man. I'm super pumped about it. But, once again, thank you all so much for everything for this episode, for all the episodes I've put out. I will catch you guys all at the start of Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Thank you guys again. Peace out.